So the comments made on stage by Kyle Gass, one member of Tenacious D, the other being Jack Black, not 24 hours after the attempt to take the life of former President Trump, who's currently the front runner, to become the 47th President of the United States. Gina Carano, to her credit, wasted no time to point out the double standard as it has been to applied to her by Disney and Lucasfilm. Now, some of you may not remember this. I got the post here pulled up that got her fired by Disney and Lucasfilm. So here it is. Jews were beaten in the streets, not by Nazi soldiers, but by their neighbors, even by children. Sad face emoji. Because history is edited, most people today don't realize that to get to the point where Nazi soldiers could easily round up the thousands of Jews, the government first made their own neighbors hate them simply for being Jews. How is that any different from hating someone for their political views? That's the post that got Gina fired from Disney and Lucasfilm. She posted that over on Instagram. Um, back in, I think it was 2021. So then we fast forward to the incident that happened in Sydney, Australia on stage where Kyle Gass was given a birthday cake for his birthday on Sunday on stage and Jack Black asked him what he wanted to wish for. And he said, next time, don't miss. I'm paraphrasing. Um, so Gina, to her credit, jumped onto X and said, would Lucasfilm or Disney like to comment on one of their actors on The Mandalorian promoting and at the very least not backing down and clay and calming the actual abhorrent rhetoric on stage about joking about the assassination attempt failing to kill President Trump? Or is calling for peace between neighbors like I did the only values you at Disney Lucasfilm find abhorrent? And like making dangerous statements towards your female cast members to broadcast out to the Hollywood press and the world. Now, this one, though, right? Not this one, though, right? Or at least weeks, Mark Ruffalo, or last week's Mark Ruffalo comment, or all the ones we have well documented before. Hmm. So she's just simply pointing out the double standard with Disney. So over at that park place, they have a nice little write-up here. John Trent, check him out. He does awesome work. Check out his socials. Check out thatparkplace.com. Uh, Gina Carano called out the Walt Disney Company after the Mandalorian actor Jack Black's Tenacious D wished don't miss Trump next time, seemingly encouraging a second assassination attempt against the former president. Over the weekend, an assassin attempted to kill former President Donald Trump while the president was at a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, outside of Pittsburgh. The assassin's bullet failed to kill President Trump, but pierced his ear. While he failed to assassinate President Trump, he did murder Corey Comper Comperator, I hope I pronounced that right, who used his body to shield his wife and daughter who were at the rally with him. At a concert event for their spicy meatball tour in Sydney, Australia, Black's band Tenacious celebrated the birthday of member Kyle Gass with Black singing happy birthday and a birthday cake being delivered by a man in a robot costume. Black then informs Gass to make a wish, and Gass then states, don't miss Trump next time. Much of the crowd begins laughing and chuckling. The video concludes with Black saying, thank you. Corona reacted to these comments on X. I just read her post. Um, and this isn't the first time that she's called out somebody for the double standard. Again, Mark Ruffalo, who posted just last week, this image here, 
they just for the record, history is repeating itself again, comparing Trump to a certain man who ruled Germany from 1933 to his death in 1945. Now, my opinion on this is that actions have consequences. And since this happened on Sunday and the backlash against Jack Black and Kyle Gass and Tenacious D, even from a senator in Australia wanting to deport them, Jack Black has since said, the rest of the tour is canceled and any, any plans we have for Tenacious D are put on hold until further notice. Okay, good. Now, I'm not one that wishes somebody to be canceled. I think canceling somebody is weak. I think blocking somebody is weak. If you don't like what they have to say, don't read it. Or, at, at nothing else, mute them. But, we are in the land of free speech. Everybody has a right to say and speak freely. And actions have consequences. If you want to talk out your ass, you better be prepared for the consequences. So no, I don't want Jack Black canceled. No, I don't want Kyle Gass canceled. No, I don't want Tenacious D canceled. Just like I don't want Destiny canceled for the vile filth he was spewing on X over the weekend. What I want is, is for him to be um, ridiculed, made fun of. Heck, call them names if you want. But I don't want their posts removed. I want their voice to be heard to show the ignorance that they're spewing, in my opinion. Just like people probably think what I'm saying right now is ignorant. That's fine. I'm expressing my opinion, and you feel free to comment and tell me if I'm right or wrong in the comment section down below. So back to Gina. Carano responded to Ruffalo writing on X, double standards on full display. It's a consistent and obvious elephant in the room in Hollywood. There is an example after example, such as Mark Ruffalo's below that. Prove this. Whom, by the way, I believe shouldn't have the right to express himself without getting fired. Yes, exactly. Although I cringe at most of all of his political posts. He is an actor, but he is a human being passionately engaging in something that he feels strongly about. It must be a nice feeling to express yourself so freely. She added, not everyone in this country has a privilege without having everything that they love taken from them. Do we wonder why he has that privilege or I, and I did not? The answers are in my case. So there you have it, folks. I, I'm not going to go through the history of all this. In Gina's post, as she says here, she called no one an N-word. It's a German N-word. She did not deny the Holocaust. But she was smeared as an anti-Semite. They took her words and turned them into something they weren't and used those words against her. But that only, but as John points out here, that doesn't seem to happen to a certain group of people that choose to use the compare, these comparisons as well. Why is that? The rules for thee and not for me group. So what are the rules exactly? So I just wanted to bring this one out and point it out that, you know, they're just helping Gina's case is what they're doing. And I know it's going to be a rough road for her and Elon, but God willing, they get to a point where we get the discovery and that's the point in time when it's get out your popcorn folks. Cause a lot of stuff's going to come out if it gets to that point in Gina's case. So that's all I got right now. Comment down below, share your thoughts, share your opinions. Tell me what you think. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. With that, I will see you guys later.